It's no secret that small crossovers are all the rage these days. So as more and more automakers add more and more products to this very competitive segment, it's harder than ever to stand out. The Ford Escape helped the whole cute ute segment really kick off around the turn of the millennium. Now in its third generation, it's more mature and upscale than ever, and a number of improvements for the 2017 model year help it really stand out in the class. How does it look? Though it retains the same overall shape as before, the Escape's front and rear faces get a lot sharper for 2017. I like the new face. It's got a more prominent front grille, stylized headlamp housings, and LED running lights. Around back, the LED tail lamps are smaller than before, and big 19-inch wheels stand out at all four corners. How's the storage? The Escape has 68 cubic feet of space behind the first row of seats, which is about middle of the pack in terms of small crossovers. One kind of cool thing though is, if you have the key on your person, you can just walk up to the Escape, kick your foot underneath, and the lift gate opens. That's really convenient if you're carrying big bags of groceries and you have your key in your pocket or your purse. There are deep cubbies in the doors and a number of other small storage spaces throughout the cabin. The glove box is pretty roomy, as is the storage space under the center armrest. Is it roomy? Ford has a habit of making cars that are big on the outside and small on the inside. The Escape certainly isn't the worst offender, but chunky pillars and a broad center stack don't really give an overall feeling of spaciousness at the front seats. Rear seat accommodations are pretty par for the class. Two adults will have no trouble fitting back here, though legroom's a little cramped, and for small families, the Escape's rear quarters will provide more than enough space. How does the interior feel? So these leather seats are kind of unsupportive and pretty flat, but they're comfortable enough. And while most of the interior is covered in this sort of rubbery, fake, soft touch stuff, there's a lot of really bad black plastic too. Overall, uh, despite being completely loaded, nothing about this interior really feels all that upscale to me. It's nicely equipped, but I just expect more. Is it well equipped? This is the Escape Titanium, which is Ford speak for fully loaded. That means it's got everything. Leather, LED lighting, Sync 3 infotainment with navigation, adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, power everything, and, well, whatever else you could ask for. How's the infotainment system? While the old MyFord Touch infotainment system was pretty to look at and terrible to use, the new Sync 3 system seems to have reversed that. Response times are greatly improved, and the overall layout is much simpler, but Sync 3's design seems to have stepped back a generation. It's easy to navigate, but the whole thing reads kind of like a large print greeting card to me. Oh, and the screen in the gauge cluster doesn't match anymore. Is it a good daily driver? I happen to think most compact crossovers are actually really good daily drivers. You get a blend of a lot of great things that make them really nice to use day in and day out. You have a higher ride height, so you've got like a little bit of more commanding view of what's on the road ahead of you. Higher seating position, nice big windscreen, and it still rides on a platform of a compact car. I mean, there's a focus underneath this, so it's still small, easy to move about, and easy to park. Is it fun to drive? Yeah, the Escape is fun to drive. It's got a two liter turbo four, pretty punchy, delivers enough power for just driving around, and has enough grunt to really get you up to speed when you're getting onto the freeway. The steering's a little bit light, kind of lacks some feedback, but overall, yeah, the Escape is fun to drive. The suspension's pretty solid, it's not afraid to take a turn a little bit quicker than normal, and it's above average for the class. How's the fuel economy? With a 2-liter turbo engine and all-wheel drive, this Escape Titanium is rated at 20 miles per gallon in the city, 27 mpg highway, and 23 mpg combined. 
that's not exactly great. Crossovers one class size larger can achieve those same numbers or even better. Ford also offers the Escape with a new 1.5 liter turbo 4, but it's not much more efficient, only mustering 28 MPG highway with all wheel drive. How much is it? As tested, this Escape Titanium all wheel drive tops out at $37,515, more than 13 grand over the price of a base Escape. That sounds like a lot, sure, but it's about normal for the class these days. Similarly equipped competitors also fall in the $35,000 range, and the Escape comes with every modern comfort, convenience, and technology feature you could want. It just happens to be slightly more expensive than the rest. What are the negatives? The fuel economy isn't great, and honestly, the interior could not only be a little bit more roomy, but for about $40,000 for this titanium model, it could certainly stand to feel a little bit nicer. Who should buy it? With its great balance of small size and big functionality, the Ford Escape makes sense for a lot of people, singles, couples, or small families. Now more handsome and useful than ever, the 2017 Escape continues to remain at the top of this very competitive class. If you like this Why Buy video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or read us at MotorOne.com. And if you've got something you'd like to see in a future video, leave a comment and we'll check it out. <laughs> you should just end it with me going, who's got the clap? <laughs> <laughs>